Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You can hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast where we have some amazing conversations and you guys don't want to miss out. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we have a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. Uh, you guys feel free to become members. Uh, check out my blog called Morning Coffee with Funny. So yeah, a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing. Everything you guys are doing is very much appreciated. So thank you very much. I hope you guys are doing all right. I may stay blessed. Today we're going to be reacting to 10 surprising facts about Khabib. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Khabib Nurmagomedov is one of the most talked about athletes right now with a perfect 29-0 record in UFC MMA. He is a highly respected fighter and he has accomplished a whole lot over his career. Hey guys, what's happening? My name is Leroy Kenton and welcome back to FTD Facts. Now, and through this episode, we're going to get to know Khabib Nurmagomedov a little bit more, or as I'd like to call him, Khabib, what are you made of? Titanium. I swear he's got titanium under that skin. This guy is a beast. Anyways, let's jump into the facts. Khabib Nurmagomedov is the first Muslim to win a UFC title. He is a two-time combat sambo world champion and also he's trained in sambo, judo and wrestling. We're going to talk about a little bit more about the fighting styles that he is trained in coming up. But continuing now with some basic information about him. He was born on September 20th, 1988 and he's from the Russian Republic of Dagestan and he has been nicknamed the Eagle to pay tribute to his homeland. His wife is named Patamat and they got married back in June of 2013. He has a daughter that was born on June 1st, 2015 and a son that's born on December 30th, 2017 and another son that was born on December 22nd, 2019. Now for this next fact, did you know that Khabib used to be a fan of Conor McGregor? I know it's kind of hard to believe because now you know that Conor and Khabib are huge huge rivals and this rivalry has been going on for years but this wasn't always the case back in 2014 when Conor McGregor was a rising UFC star they had initially met through Twitter the two of them ended up eventually throwing it down in the ring aka the UFC octagon and Khabib won this high profile fight against Conor McGregor and because of the aftermath that followed the fight both of the fighters were banned for several months and to this day supporters of both sides blame the other side for starting this whole rivalry. All right, now I want to rewind a little bit into Khabib's life. Khabib started practicing freestyle wrestling at the age of six years old. So he was very young, around five or six, he actually started training. And he was coached by his father named Abdul Manap Nurmagomedov. And Khabib's grandfather named Magomed was also a freestyle wrestler. Then later on in his teenage years, Khabib, he trained in many forms of wrestling and martial arts that were very popular in Russia, like judo, combat, sambo, pancreation, grappling, as well as Greco-Roman wrestling. And his father says that learning these techniques, they played a big part in Khabib's success in MMA because it made him more flexible than his opponents. Also, did you know that Khabib at one point almost became a nightclub bouncer? So this bright idea popped into his head after he suffered two bad injuries back to back. In 2014, he suffered torn cruciate ligaments in his knee. And then a year later, he broke a rib. So he was thinking, he's like, okay, I don't want my career to end. I want to continue providing for my family and myself as well. So he considered a job as a bouncer to make some money. But you know, his father, like true dad style, he was like, absolutely not. And he said that he would provide for Khabib if it came down to it. And this is what his father said in exact words. Your job is to eat well and 
go to the gym. I told Khabib at the time that it took us such a long time to get this far, so he should not give up so quickly. He returned to the mat and started to sweat his guts out and he never stopped. And it's a good thing that he kept on going because Khabib may not have been the same Khabib that we know today. For fact number five, becoming a winner for him was developed over time. So when he was a child, he lost almost all the time. He started training, like I mentioned, very early in life and his father was very active in this. He entered him in almost every single possible competition, but he never won any competition. And then in his teen years, he experienced severe fatigue. And at the ages between 13 and 14, Khabib was coming in fifth or sixth place in competitions. But when he turned 16 years old, the number of the martial arts that he took part in was cut down to just three. And that's when he started winning. So his energies and his time and his attention were focused in so he could really hone in his skills on just certain types of martial arts instead of putting his time and energy into everything. It's no surprise that Khabib Nurmagomedov is also listed in the latest edition of Muslim 500. This is a yearly publication that documents the 500 most influential Muslims in the entire world. And this man has millions, tens of millions of followers. So no doubt that he is a very influential Muslim. Also, according to his father, Khabib will fight until he is 32 years old. And he said that age 32, that's when Khabib's physical conditions will probably start going down. So he'll stop fighting at his very peak. And that's exactly what happened. After his victory in his UFC 254 fight against Justin Gagey, Khabib announced his retirement at 32 years old. But even so, his retirement, it came as a shock to many people. They were left wondering why now? especially for those who never saw that fight or watch any of the follow-up interviews. One big thing to highlight though is that recently Khabib had lost his father as well as his lifetime coach due to complications arising from COVID-19 and he passed away at the age of 57 years old. So he wasn't even that old and Khabib Namagamedov was very close to his father as you could imagine and this loss took a huge toll on not just Khabib but his entire family. So he said in his his post-fight interview that his mother had asked him not to fight anymore without his father and he had promised her that that was going to be his final fight. And the fact I want to end off with involves his net worth. Khabib Nurmagomedov's net worth is listed at $30 million according to CelebrityNetWorth.com. But his father, however, had told the Daily Mail back in April of 2020 before he passed away that his net worth was actually around $100 million. And that's probably more accurate, I feel, because those numbers are coming from his father who pretty much knew everything about him, not just an estimate from a celebrity website. And also Forbes had reported that between the years 2019 and 2020 alone, Khabib Khabib brought in $16.5 million. So either way, this man is still a multi, 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 multi millionaire who has enough money to look after his family for several generations. He has his money, he has his health, he has his faith, and it seems like it's a great way to pay tribute to his father and retire undefeated in his professional career, 29 and 0. And actually, I don't think that the highly anticipated rematch with Conor McGregor will be enough to pull him out of retirement. I know they've been talking about that for a long time. They want to see a rematch. They want to see a rematch. It's never happened. Now he's retired. I think it's never going to happen. All right, so that's the note I'm going to end off with in this episode. This was a look at 10 surprising facts about Khabib Nurmagomedov. Definitely let me know what you think down below. And also, if you're a fan, do you feel that this was the perfect time for him to retire? Or do you want to see him in the octagon a little bit longer? Especially if you're one of those people who want to see that rematch match against Conor McGregor. Let me know all your thoughts and comments down below. We also have related videos about other people that we've documented here on FTD Facts. So you can check those links below in the video description section to watch those videos. Until next time, guys, stay awesome, stay educated, and I'll see you all real soon. Very interesting video. Um, maybe shout out to the person that suggested this. I'm just thinking. I don't think I know him. Uh, uh.
I don't I don't know. I don't know if I've watched him do his thing. I'm not very sure but um when it comes to the retirement part of his journey, I think it's good that he retired because sometimes sometimes you just want to keep on going, going, going. You have to take a rest sometime. Take some time away from whatever you're doing and just start living life. He's young enough to start living life. I mean thirty two. There's still more to life than just boxing or whatever activity this is and at least he went out with a win as long as you got a win i think you can rest and just enjoy and have fun with your family let me know what you guys think about this video and the facts that the ftd uh, channel put out there otherwise this was amazing make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video